Hi Queens, welcome back to my channel. This is Be The Beat and this is the poppin' look we're gonna get into today. I'm recreating a look by Megan Thee Stallion, so just stay tuned. So first I'm just applying a little lip gloss by me, okay, by the Big Mama brand. This is a lip gloss that will be for purchase pretty soon, so keep an eye out for that and follow us on Instagram. But anyway, I'm jumping right into skin. I'm just applying some Studio Fix Fluid Foundation in the shade NW43. And it's a little bit too light for me right now, so I'm just mainly focusing that color on the center of my face and then I'm going to add a darker shade to mix into it later. Um, hey, Kaysen girl, we see you. Make sure you follow Kaysen on Instagram and subscribe to her YouTube channel at Kaysen's World. But anyway, I'm going to add in NW55 to darken up the NW43. I know this like super dark um, compared to my skin, but mixing it with the other one is going to give me the perfect match. So... I'm just mixing those two and I did have some questions on one of my most recent videos about how I apply foundation with a brush so flawlessly so <laughs> I'm using a brush from MAC and I'm just going to press the foundation into my skin using the flat side like you saw and that helps me to build up the coverage and then I'm going to use the kind of sparse looking bristles to shear out the foundation in spaces that I don't need as much coverage if that makes sense. So I'm just going to use the brush to my advantage, manipulate the shape of the brush however I see fit and press in that coverage. Okay so I'm mixing in those colors pretty smoothly and then I'm going to just need a little bit more coverage on my chin area which is my problem area mainly. I'm going to use Tarte Shape Tape to further cover up my dark spots and hyperpigmentation, acne scar, whatever you want to call it. And I'm using that same brush to just press in the coverage and press in that product to get the full coverage I'm looking for. So we are going off of a Meg Stallion look and we all know Meg likes a little slim brow. So I'm using Spiked Brow Pencil by MAC to shape out my brows and I'm doing them pretty thin today and I'm just carving them out and blending that concealer down and around my under eye. So it's also going to be my under eye highlight. I'm going to also contour my skin rather quickly with a black opal um, foundation stick. Skin is not this huge focus of this look, so <laughs> I'm just breezing through that. But this is the look we're doing. She did like, you know, heavy red and green on the eyes and definitely heavy lip liner with clear gloss through the center. So that's what we're going for today. Turn up. I'm going to use my Makeup for Melanin Girls Power Palette today, which is one of my new faves. Y'all don't forget to shop with them and use my discount code BBBEAT. I will leave my link down below as well as the discount code, but I'm just going to apply that bright orange shade through the inner third corner of my eye because Meg did have like a heavy kind of reddish orange tone going through the inner third of her eyes. So I'm just going to begin with that shade and then work my way out. So once you have that color built up and blown out the way you want, I'm then going to go into a Juvia's Place palette into a neutral brown. And we're going to just try to diffuse that color onto my lid and blend it out. So I don't want it to be harsh. I don't want it to go from red to black. So I'm using a brown to kind of soften that up on the outer edges and give me a transition into the darker shade I'm going to use on the outer third of my eye. So I'm going to go in with this dark brown and black shade from the power palette just to begin the grading effect on the outer third of my eye. Now we all know Meg loves a little tiny cut crease so I'm going to begin to carve that out. Megan the Stallion and I have similar eye shapes where we got those little tiny slanted eyes so I understand why she does such a slim cut crease because that's the natural shape of our crease but I typically like to bring my crease up a little higher but I'm going to stick with the look today and carve out a super tiny cut crease so I'm just basically following the shape of my real eyelid like that's where my natural crease is on my eye <laughs> and that's how she likes her crease so that's what we're going to stick with for the look because we are trying to replicate, duplicate, inspired by that makeup look, okay? So I'm just gonna carve that out with some Tarte Shape Tape Concealer so I can begin to lay down the shimmery green shade. For that green color she used, I don't have something exactly like it, so I'm gonna mix like three different green shades together from Juvia's Place palettes, and I'm just going to pack that on to that concealer where I carved out my crease.
Now, once I have the green shade packed on the way I want, I'm going to go back in with that dark brown and that black shade from the Makeup for Melanin Girls palette. And I'm going to just kind of blend that in my outer V, make sure it's a smooth transition from the green to the black. I want it to be a nice gradient effect. So I'm just taking a light hand and softly dusting that over the green in the outer corner of my eye. Now I'm going to take the burgundy in the brown shades and just smoke that in my lower lash line. Just to give me a little color down there. I don't want to leave my lower lash line empty. So I'm just going to do something pretty simple down there. And I'm going to follow, finish up skin. I'm going in with a blush from Il Maquillage. I will leave that shade down below. I can't remember the name off the top of my head. I believe it's called Back to Black. But I will leave it below to be sure. And here's some casing. Okay. Okay, get it, get it, a, a. Okay, get it, get it, a. I don't remember what we were listening to. <laughs> Probably some old school, some 90s. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to go in with some highlighters. I'm going to use um, Global Glow and Gold Deposit by MAC. Those are mineralized skin finish highlighters. Some of my faves. I'm just going to go in and apply a little quick dab at it. And now with the look that Meg did, she was heavy on the liner, okay? Like she did a really heavy kind of like dark burgundy lip liner with, it just appeared to be clear gloss in the center. So I'm going to use this liner that I have. I think this lip liner is by NYX or something. Um, I really would have preferred to have like Dark Out by MAC or maybe like Vino by MAC mixed together. But I couldn't get my hands on that right then. So I used this one. It wasn't quite as dark as I thought it would be. But anyway, it's close enough. And I'm just going to use some clear gloss from my brand, the Big Mama brand. It will be launching soon. I just apply some of that in the center and try to um, kind of smooth out the liner. <laughs> and I apply my wig off camera. So my wig has leftover crimps in it from my last hair video. If you didn't see it, go ahead and watch it. I'm going to link it above. But anyway, my hair is kind of like crimped from the last style I did. So I'm trying to just straighten it out a little bit and put a little curl at the end because Meg did have um, kind of just like some loose curls towards the ends of her hair. But I'm just trying to go through that and kind of smooth out some of the crimps a little bit and get a little curl going. I am using a flat iron by Bettelis, Baby Bliss, however you say that. I think a lot of people struggle with the name of that um, hair care line. But anyway, I'm going to just say Bettelis because there's no extra B in there. But anyway, I'm just going through and kind of curling my hair a little bit. Not too strategic at all. So I'm just going to zoom through that part. <laughs> Don't even take any of these curl lessons from me, okay? Just watch me do it. And I'm not going to leave that scarf there, okay? Um, I only had it on to lay my edges down and try to get my wig to stick because I didn't take as much time applying my wig today as I usually do because I was trying to beat the sun so I could get some pics for the grim. But this is the look we recreated. This is Meg the Stallion, the goat, the hot girl herself. And this is my look that I came up with. So hopefully you guys like it. You see how the liner is not as dark as I would like it to be, to be but it's close enough. So I hope you guys enjoyed this look. I don't have a formal outro because I was trying to beat the sun, like I said. So I had to zoom outside with my clothes on or whatever. But this is the completed look I got outside, one of the pictures I got. Follow me on Instagram so you can see more that I got. And don't forget to subscribe, like, share, comment, tag Meg the Stallion, period, okay? It's a hot girl summer, fall, whatever. 